The king nest, full of kingbirds. We kingbirds build nests in high locations. At the highest point is the king of all birds. These birds are also supposed to be big enough to eat a buffalo. I think the game kind of underappreciates this. That's fucking terrifying. <laughs> I know, right? What the fuck, man? Over to the right is the king of kingbirds. He is a caring soul who watches over us, though he is a tad heavy. <laughs> That's one way to say he's a pretty fat. You are a good chick. Alright, let's go meet up with Kingbird. <laughs> Wait, that bird was wearing sunglasses. <laughs> sure, why the fuck not? And is that a hat? My good man, it is a hat. <laughs> it's a fucking hat. It's a cap. <laughs> it's a baseball cap. What the fuck are you doing? Hey, brother. Where did you even get it? <laughs> hey, brother, you need anything? I'm not much to look at, but I am a good merchant. Hey, yo, bruv, 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 bruv. Bruv, I have a deal for you. It's a bird suit. I'll take one. Look me up. <laughs> look me up on SoundCloud, brother. <laughs> I realize now that uh, SoundCloud for birds would actually be something they would consider using. <laughs> if only because it would make sense. They make sounds and they fly in clouds. There you go, SoundCloud. Ha, ah, shit jokes. Am I right? Man, this. The greatest. Of shot. Yeah. This, this. You are. This is a big bird. Indeed, I am the king of king birds. You returned us for, to our original forms. I thank you sincerely. It is good everything is back to the way it, is, it was. I wish I could say that, but it isn't true. Close by, there is a cavern called Windvale. Wind from it in the spring tells us that we must fly to new lands. But this year the wind has not blown. We are concerned. We can check that. Do we have to resurrect the wind? Not really. The wind is alive. It's just a little uh, sleepy. We just, need, <laughs> we just need to give it a good hard knock on the head. How can I jump off? Come on, jump! Get this rock out of here! Wait. Do you want to go to Windvale? God damn it! <laughs> no problem, I'll take you. It's just a quick flight. Want to go? Yes. We'll leave now. It doesn't matter how the seagull carries you, it just matters that it does. In a bag. <laughs> I think it's a stork. No, it's a gull. It's a seagull. That's just... that's fucking hilarious. Now oh, there's the Great Lakes, don't mind them, we ain't going there... yet. There we go. Yep, as you can see, it's a seagull. And a rather posh looking one too. So this is Windvale. It's a very small dungeon. All you need to do is chuck some rocks into this pit. There you go. A deep voice whispered in Ark's ear. Why you ain't letting me sleep? <laughs> God damn it. I hear the calling of birds. I sense the fragrance of spring. I understand. The long harsh winter is over. I know not who you might be, but I thank you for waking me. I shall get to work immediately. There you go, we woke up the wind. Just let it rush out, it's, it's a bit slow. There we go. 
And with that, the birds are now back to living their good old carefree lives of migrating and shitting everywhere and ruining your day at the pond. <laughs> wow, I could tell right away. The wind is back. We've got to get going. Let's go tell the king right now. Yes. You can kind of see the seagull struggling. I mean, <laughs> how the fuck does it pick you up anyway? I mean, I understand they're pretty large birds, all things considered. They can steal your fries and stuff, but a whole person? Uh, yeah, I think I might be a bit beyond, beyond this little creature. And from the back, you can hear a distant roar. It's a video game. <laughs> <laughs> I understand. Get the shit out of here. It's so majestic and peaceful when you get things sorted out. <laughs> Why are you always so scared of me? It's just me, bro. The wind is blowing. The migrators can take off to new lands. As a show of appreciation, please take this. It's the wind pin. If you develop an abnormality, summon birds with this to cure you. It'll fix you up in case you have any of those annoying ailments that you can't get rid of on your own. Like poison. If you wish to travel el elsewhere, speak to a gull. We have some places we can go to. Tell me if you want to go to Windvale again. I'll take you anytime. No. What about you? I'm thinking of going to a new continent with the wind. I'm flying to a small temperate island called Camillo. Want to go? Why not? Why not? Why the fuck not, eh? We'll just uh, initiate Turbo Seagull once it lifts off. And. Go. <laughs> there we go. That's a little faster. So here, are, here we are on the island of, uh, well, they call it Camillo, but it's actually Japan. And there's nothing here. <laughs> Not yet, at least. I travel between this small island and Sanctuary. Want to go? Yes. <laughs> we have shit to do. I'm thinking of going to a new continent with the wind. What do you say? I'll take you anywhere you want. I'm thinking of going to Safarium, the paradise of animals. Sure, let's go. We'll leave now. So after the birds come the animals, particularly the ones that live on the land. Because, of course, someone is gonna screech right away, But the birds are animals! Yes, but the birds are birds, and the tigers, for, for example, are tigers. See? Big difference. Yes. <laughs> big enough of the developers, at least. But where is the safarium? Why, it is in the Africa, of course. As it would be. In the savanna. There's just something odd. There's nobody here. That's odd. What happened here, Ark? There used to be countless animals here. This was a happening place. The simple Rhino Simon. Kameski the Slow Turtle. Neo the Lion King. I think Neo just had a baby. What happened to them all? No one cares about art no more. What the fuck was that all about? <laughs> what about the art? What the fuck? I didn't know gulls were artistically inclined. But yeah, he does have a point. The animals don't seem to be here. So we need to go figure out what's up with that. And well, the obvious answer is, we need to be revived. As normal, which is fine. We can do that. Yeah, go away. 
Brother, have I got a deal for you? Why is this orb calling me a brother? Yeah, there's nothing here. This whole place was full of animals. And then there's nothing here. Even the lion den is empty. Gotta figure out what the fuck is up. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's restore the animals. Best place to start would be the savannah. Or rather the region of savannah known as the zoo. This has the best music in the game so far. <laughs> I was about to say, that's a distinct <laughs> shift in music, Jay. Watch out for the turtles, they explode. As you do, as as they do, you know? There seems to be some water missing around here. Let's try to find out some lore. There are some annoying monsters around here though. The lizards here will be the, prim the primary annoyance. They hop around, they slash with swords, and they're generally dicks. Then there's of course the exploding turtles, which you can kill in a way that doesn't make them explode, but you need to be pretty strong to achieve that. Also, sometimes you'll be needing to pick up some dead bushes. Watch out, some of them have exploding bees. <laughs> Cause fuck you, I guess. Yes, and of course there's these lizards. Don't be fooled by their amazing breakdance routine. They are trying to grab you with their tails. I love this place's music, it's so good. Here's one right now. <laughs> ah, a bulb. Storm clouds blot out the sun. This is an important mechanic for this region. When it rains, the turtles cannot explode. That could be very useful. Little rain because of monsters means barren land. What green exists would be but mere specks in the grasslands of the past. Natives made altars for holding rain ceremonies. So I suppose what we could do is try to reenact these ceremonies and see if we can get some rain. Because well, while there are these storms here, they're not strong enough to fill up dried up rivers. This is the new mechanic for the game, changing the environment. This is important because it unlocks new pathways and areas to explore. Without this, you're making no progress whatsoever. Sounds like a bit of an important mechanic, really. It's and an interesting one, you don't often see this in games. It is the most important mechanic for this dungeon. If you can call it a dungeon, because we're not going underground. We're staying above ground. A very good change of pace, too. I love this place. Yeah, it does look pretty damn good. It's also, I want to say, built in such a way that you can go through it fast. I like it. It's like it's uh, it supports uh, speed running. <laughs> you the can... ever important speed run strat. I seriously gotta wonder if developers thought, "Hey, I wonder if anybody's ever gonna try and go through our games as fast as humanly possible." Well, the developers of speedrunners definitely did. <laughs> But, you know, that's kind of the point of the game. <laughs> Alright, I gotta find the starting point. It can be a bit tricky to find where you need to start from, but once you figure it out, you're good to go. It gets fairly straightforward from there. Oh yeah, just another thing. This uh, dungeon is where uh, the the matter of killing all the monsters on the screen is emphasized the most because after destroying major mechanic yeah after destroying all the monsters in a given area at least the one that matters to the dungeon some souls will show up which are important to the rain ceremony 
as far as I know, the lizards didn't do anything. I'm glad to say that the dungeons will never get as puzzling as the ones in Monster World 4. As much as I like those dungeons, fuck me, they know how to make them last. <laughs> that bad, huh? They're good dungeons, I really like them. The problem is that they can last for hours. Especially one of them, which has the best music in the game, but fuck me. <laughs> Rainfall altars, relics from the past can be found in the zoo. They need to be powered by the ancient shaman spirits, which happen to be these glowing orbs which we rescue from destroying monsters. The real question now is, who were the shamans? The people or the animals? We never get the answer to that. But maybe it's for the best. A little mystery doesn't hurt. I like to believe it's the animals. <laughs> the monkey shamans are at it again, I see. <laughs> ah, delicious onion. How do you eat an onion? <laughs> <laughs> ah, this looks more like it. There's a ginormous fucking frog. With amazing flaps on its lips. Good news for you, though. In case you are wondering... Uh, no, you don't have to worry about the souls when you rediscover when you are looking for them because once you find them, they will fly to their intended destination and stay there. So you just need to actually find them. Okay, I think that was your cat. <laughs> that is my cat, yeah. He's right here and he's bugging me for food. Yippee. Or maybe he's just bugging me. He's been bugging me quite a bit lately. I think he's still a little weirded out by my folks being home after a month of them not being around. I gotta say, this crawling space is uh, very useless. <laughs> <laughs> Please, tor tortoise, explode. Here we go, another soul. Make way to the Rainfall Altar. But in case you're wondering, <laughs> you think there's only one altar? <laughs> no! There's four of them! <laughs> God damn it. Though I believe the last one doesn't require much of input from you, so technically there should only be three altars that you need to really do anything with. Still, it is quite a bit of busy work that you need to go through, but it's expected because this is one of the last dungeons in the game. In this uh, chapter, at least. There will be dungeons afterwards, of course, but they will not be like this, let's say. They'll be a bit different. I love this fucking music. <laughs> Did I go through here? I think I did. I think you might have done, yeah. Well, I did. Maybe there's another way around through here somewhere. No, there's gotta be a way around that tree. I think I just didn't know how to walk around it. What the shit? There really is no way around this tree, what the hell? That's a bit annoying, but what is there anyway? It doesn't look like there's much going on in that little alcove anyway. Probably a treasure chest or something. Right, what I need to do is to get to where that ginormous frog was. Which I think was through here. Yeah, here we go. Progress. The frogs have one annoying attack. Every time they get hit, they will exhale sharply, which pushes you as far as it can possibly do it. 
not too annoying here and does a little bit of damage too but later on you will need to make use of this here is the first altar I That's a very large altar. I was expecting it to be a lot smaller than that. I feel an enormous power. The spirits of the shamans have been used to create some rain. Uh in a very quick fashion, no less. <laughs> Apparently so! Fuck it, why not, eh? Even the spirits are like, we ain't got time for this. Just do it now! Ain't nobody got time- Ain't nobody got time for this shit, just get it done! Green is really a soothing color. You can sleep on it and it can feed animals. That's it. Animals can't return because there isn't any grass for food. When more plants appear, animals should re-emerge. Like the gull mentioned, I should meet Simple Simon the Rhino, the turtle, Kameski, and the lion. Well, you get to meet them in the safarium, but not here. <laughs> 